Hi folks, I'm going to make a, a big, big cylinder vase today. So I'm using a seven pound ball of clay. So I'll just show you how we get on. So when you're centering big lumps of clay like this, it's always a good idea to cone it up, as we call it. Which is to force it up into a cone shape like so and then when you bring it down it tends to be a lot easier to, to centre so once you've coned it up like that you just push down with your left hand your top hand and it's quite dry this clay and then force it against your right hand well centred quite quickly in one movement just going to slow this down a notch so what I'm going to do it's quite hard this clay actually so it might take me a while to make this so I'm just going to dive in leaving about probably a centimetre thickness at the bottom and then just stretching it out with my thumbs bottom flat uh, I'm just gonna sort of narrow it in at the top before I do any any lifting like I said it's quite dry this clay so I need to put quite a lot of water on it tends to dry out so what I'm gonna do with the first bit is just using that part of my hand and my fingers inside and sort of push it under the bottom and lift some of the thicker clay up. I'm not going to try and get any height at this stage, just want to get a big lump of clay at the bottom. Lift it up. So I'm just going to collar it in now, so I'm going to squeeze in at the bottom pushing in as you push up to make it a lot narrower at the top I'll just push it in a little bit more at the bottom so now I'm going to do the first knuckle lift as we call it which is using the knuckle the index finger of your knuckle, the knuckle of your index finger of your right hand digging in under the bottom there against you your fingers on the inside and just drawing it up slowly let's try and get some height and if you see my thumbs sort of stopping it from splaying out as well so it stops it from getting too wide hang of that you can get some quite a lot of clay up quite quickly so again I'm just going to collar this in because I want to get a bit more height to it obviously so I'll just narrow it in at the top first and then narrow it in from the bottom it might go a little bit off centre but it'll sort itself out
more height out of it. Just straighten it out a bit. <coughs> and I'll just get the last bit of height out of this by just lifting it up from as far as I can get my hand inside the pot. So I'm not going to do a full knuckle lift again. I'm just going to get a bit more from about four inches down. Just lift that bit up. Can't reach. And we'll just roll the rim over a touch. tall cylinder really easily. You don't need to practice on big things like this, just practice it on smaller things until you get the knack of it. And you'll know when you get the knack of it because it just you can just feel it flowing up, the, the cloud just flowing up. And then, once you can do that, you can just make tall stuff like this dead easily. So that's it folks, that's just a, how I make a, a tall cylinder. Knuckle lift, a bit of a heel lift at the start. And once you get the knack of it, you can make really nice tall cylinders quite easily.